Hi, I'm Scott and today I'm going to show you how to put in this gutter system on Dad It Yourself. As I get started on this project, I wanted to welcome you to Data Yourself. If you're new or haven't done so yet, consider supporting my channel by subscribing. So the first order of business to removing the old gutters was to remove these spikes. Ironically, I had just come a couple of days before and pounded these all in in an attempt to fix this gutter and that's when we discovered that the gutters needed to be replaced. If you see me hammering in on the gutter, I'm not actually driving the spike in, but bending the gutter back so I can get a better grip with the pry bar. So all the mounting spikes have been removed and now the reciprocating saw on the downspout and boom, the gutter is down. I guess the only thing holding it up was the paint on the fascia and that downspout. One of the biggest problems that led to the failure of the existing gutter system was that they hadn't been cleaned regularly. So I figured I'd clean off the roof so we didn't create another problem with the existing gutters. And I talked to the homeowner about cleaning their gutters out on a regular basis. My Ryobi 18 volt leaf blower made quick work of this and much easier than sweeping off the roof with a broom. A little quick work with a broom to clear all the old pine needles, spider webs, and other debris that had been wedged between the old gutter and the fascia board. And if you'll notice here, the fascia board has never been painted since this house was constructed in 1971. I spoke to the homeowner and we decided that we would paint this to provide a little additional weather protection. Because I wasn't initially planning on painting here, I had to borrow a brush and the paint from the homeowner. And the brush they gave me, I don't think had been used in years, a little bit stiffer than I had anticipated. So with a little wa water from the hose, rinsed it right back out again, and that actually worked. And it only took me a few minutes to paint this fascia. So now it's time to actually install the gutters. The manufacturer recommends a half inch down from the top of the fascia board at the highest point, and then one eighth of an inch for every 10 feet of run. So that put me about an inch down from the fascia for the lowest point, which is the downspout connection. Next, it was just a matter of installing the downspout, connecting the elbows, cutting the lengths with my reciprocating saw, and installing those in against the wall with the provided clips. And here's the final installation of the downspout 
Some may say, well, why did I come down the end of the porch like that? Well, that was the position of the existing downspout. Um, if I would have had a choice, I would have installed it by the front of the garage as the low point and come straight down the wall. Setting up the gutters for installation is real easy. It's just a matter of sliding in these support brackets at 12 inches from each end and then spaced 18 to 24 inches in the middle based on snow load for your area. This gutter actually used five of those brackets for a 10 foot length. And then putting the end cap in with its integrated seal, just a matter of snapping it in uh, and it's ready to go. These two-piece joiners are really easy to install. They have an integrated seal. You snap the first piece on the inside of the gutter, and then it has a retainer that snaps around the outside that holds everything together. Uh, you can put screws in them, or you don't have to. It's up to you. And now installing the first set of gutters, it's just a matter of putting it from the corner to the end. And it's hard to see, but I snapped a chalk line from the half inch point down to about the three quarter inch point. So I'd have that one eighth of slope over the course of the fascia length. The gutter is retained on the fascia using a stainless steel screw that's drilled right in following that chalk line. So now to the task of assembling the main run of gutters along the front of the house. This span was about 21 feet. So instead of having two 20 foot lengths and a one foot length, I cut them into even pieces of roughly seven feet and then joined them with these K joiners again. Here you'll see Sun It Yourself number two and I installing the gutters and that last section actually came off. This would have been a good point where the screws would have been nice to install in the K joiners or install these pieces one segment at a time on the fascia. Uh, lessons learned for the next time I do one of these. And just another rinse and repeat on installing stainless steel screws and keeping the top of that gutter along the chalk line that I had snapped for the slope back to the downspout. And the final section going in, the last one foot piece from the rafter tail to the downspout connector. Uh, I had to wedge it in a little bit, but I got it in there. And that was it for this install, about an actual an hour from the time I started putting the gutters up after all the prep work was done. I gotta say, this Amerimax vinyl gutter system is really economical and easy to install, and any homeowner can do it. And there you have it, the water flowing correctly down to the downspout. This vinyl residential gutter system from Amerimax is an off-the-shelf product at Home Depot. What makes it awesome are these two-piece connectors that don't require any sealant or screws. Makes it really easy to install. I'll put a link down below in the description if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself. 
If you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comments section below. And speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in, and the subscribe button's right there. Thanks for watching. Data yourself.